Hey guys, how are you? How exciting is this? I'm in California, it's warm, it's sunny, and I've got a load of kitted out Rivians to have a look at. So stay tuned, I'm Richard Simons, and this is gonna be all about Rivian. Obviously being in the UK, haven't been able to reserve one yet, but it's promising. There is some news this morning actually that Rivian uh, will be working on coming to the UK. And I was speaking to a chap here and they do have staff and offices in the UK now. So it looks quite promising that we will at some point, albeit we might have to wait a while, but at some point we might be able to get hands on a Rivian. So let's take a look around. Uh, I've not really been around here yet at all. So just come with me and I'll walk around it very casually and show you what I can of the Rivians. So let's start off with this one here. <laughs> nice sparkling kind of metallic green. That's an odd color that, I like it. So what do you think of the front end of these? I've always been divided. I sort of like it and I sort of don't like it. I sort of feel like maybe that bit shouldn't be there, just a bar across, but there's no doubt about it. I mean, it does look different, doesn't it? It does look cool. Look at the detail and the lights here. Oh, cool. Ton of storage space. Oh, kit bags in here. I think there's a floor under here as well. Yeah, there's even more storage underneath. There's like a luggage net there. Exit button, screen wash. Ah, oh, that's cool, look at this. Pearly all terrains. So these, these are 20 inch, 275, 65s, 20s. Huge. So these got a whole load of cameras. There's cameras here. There's cameras here. And look at this little kind of vent here. Comes through and there's also like a slot here, so some kind of air scarf thing going on. Oh, wow. Now this looks real premium. Look at the details on this. This looks good. Tell you what, there's no one in the driver's seat. Let me go around there. Oh wow, right, let's get in. A Rivian, how exciting is this? If the Cybertruck's not going to come to the UK, it looks like the Rivian probably is. Now this looks nice. Wood trim here, leather dash, nice display here, and then a really large display here. <laughs> It doesn't look too different from a Tesla Model 3 or Y, to be fair. Let's have a look at that. Here's the early cars. I don't know how functional the, soft, the software is on these. Vents there. Oh, nice trimmings. Look, it's kind of Alcantara type roof headliner there. Big glass roof. I like how they've carried the detail. So this one's got kind of yellow accents around it, so they've carried it onto the handles. This all feels premium. Oh yeah. I could see myself in one of these, I'll tell you that. I think these probably open, maybe not on this one here. Good storage down here. Look at this, it's like a tray that comes out. What's this tray? Oh, is that a sound box or something? What the, how cool is that? Portable speaker by the look of it. How cool is that? Look at the detail on it as well, just really well finished, really well made carry handle. I'm assuming that's what it is. Excuse my ignorance if it's not, so someone will correct me. Is this a speaker that comes yeah, out? It's a portable camp speaker. Right? Amazing. Yeah, so you just take that out camping with you? Yeah. And that has a lamp at the bottom too. You can change the, you know, the way it, it you could either have it flash or blink or, or even behave like a campfire. That's a nice touch, yeah. isn't it? Nice touch. Oh yeah. You can see me in this. Right, these need to come to England. These yeah. definitely need to come to England. They're coming. At, at, at some point, they will be. Oh, look at this. There's a torch in here. Show me some of the cool details. Look at this. Everything's got some really nice detail and really yeah. well finished, you know? Well, yeah, this is, um, and actually what's powering this flashlight as well is the actual battery cell, the lithium-ion cell that is in the battery pack itself. Ah, oh, nice touch. touch. Yeah, so there's, nice the actual, touch. there's the actual cell itself. Look at that. And there's 7,776 of these under there. In the 135 <laughs> kilowatt hour battery pack, yeah. This is, seven, this is the 7,777. Amazing. So what's the battery pack on this one here? This is 135 kilowatt hours yeah. and it's separated into nine 15 kilowatt hour modules. Amazing. And it, and it's, you don't mind being on the camera here, telling and, everyone in England. <laughs> and, it's, and its entire range um, has been officially established at 314 miles of range on a full charge. Yeah, amazing. But that will differ though, both for the good and for yeah. the bad, depending on if you're going uphill or downhill. Of course, windy, all the same conditions, all exactly. Conditions, yeah. So how much does this truck weigh then? It's going to be a beast. It's over 7,000 pounds. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's three and a half tons. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, this, this will weigh a full ton more than a Ford F-150 Raptor. Amazing, and that's, yeah. And that's the weight of the battery pack. An electric vehicle of any kind because yeah. of the battery is going to be a heavier vehicle by definition. Yeah. And especially if you want one that's going to go a long way and do a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, this has 835 horsepower, 915 pound-feet of torque. <sighs> 800, did you hear 835 yeah. horsepower? And you, and you have to have something that wow. is substantial enough to you know hold that type of, of volumetric energy density to power that. Yeah. And, they, yeah. and this does, but that's why it's here. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. What color do they call this, by the way? Because this, this is this is launch green. Launch green. Yeah. And you've got some PPF there. Is it protect the paintwork? Good idea. It's actually metallic. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it has a bit of speck in it. Yeah, it has some has some flack. And this is a tunnel. And this is a tunnel. You can stand on this and everything. Yeah. Like. All right, go on then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am heavy. No, that's fine. It's just... So you can see the, even the roof rack mounting points. Everything's just done with really nice detail. Check that out. Yeah, because the cargo bars are extendable, they'll be they'll extend to fit the width of the cab as they as they become smaller to fit the width of the cab or the truck bed. Okay. Oh, amazing. It's got some great touches to it. How's the tent? Good. Pretty nice. <laughs> I like this open up. Amazing. This is good, huh? Oh, I can see myself having one of these. We do like a bit of camping. And also I went camping with electric vehicles and the say it's EQV. Check out other videos for that. But this somehow is way cooler, isn't it? How desirable is this? That's the wheels. And got his roof pass again, just so nicely finished. They've not just designed a car here, they've not just designed loads of accessories for the car. It's all done with amazing detail. And what they've done actually is create a real lifestyle vehicle. Let's have a look under the back here. And we've got accessory hitch there. Amazing. Okay, that's this one in brief. I might come and get some more shots of that in a minute, but let's go over to this blue one over here. Ooh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry if it's raining in the UK when you're watching this, but here it is lovely. I think it's just warming up to about 20 degrees now, so very reasonable. What have we got here then? 22 inch Sport. Here's a Priority Scorpion, all season, Tucson 550 R22s. This is a charge port. Ooh, look at that. And then, and if this comes to the UK, this would be CCF. Cool, huh? Oh yes, look at this. Look at that. Really sturdy kind of grab handles. Do you know what? Although I think the front does look a bit strange. <laughs> Just the detail in it is great. So let's have a look on the front of here. I can see a camera here. Let's go right under here. Oh, someone scraped this one. It's been off-road. Good. Just the way it should be. Why do I like these grab handles and the bumper so much? Just feels like you can strap stuff on, pull things out. Maybe it'd be good in the new forest, pulling the stuck pony out of a ditch. So this one actually has the roof bars on with a couple of accessories up there. Let's go around here. Yeah, that's uh, this is showing how the storage tunnel is that perfect for wet snowboards and wakeboards and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. Meridian sound. Just the detail to finish. Wow. No wonder it's taken a while to get this to production because they've really worked on everything. So look at this under the bed floor. A ton of storage. Oh yeah. That's cool. That can come down. Built-in air compressor so you can deflate and inflate your tires. Big tailgate. I like the way that comes over so you've got a nice flat load in. And then I think you can close it with the button like that. I don't think it's functional on this one. But how cool is this? God, there's so much want here. Want so bad. Oh, oh man. Right, there's another one over here. So, a nice little setup in the hangar here. 
I mean, I'm doing some drives over there, but they're fully booked out, even by the time I got to try and book this, but I'm going to see if I can get out on a drive, of course. Now, this was really keen to see, this portal kitchen that goes into that tunnel, comes out. So again, they've had to design all of this. That's someone's was making popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah, nice. Grab one, okay. oh, I will in a minute. Again, just the detail in all this, the finish. Let's go on the other side That's for that. I just gotta do a quality. I saw that. Yeah. Joey said, what? what? Let's have a look at the inside. Yeah, oh, cool. I mean, even just making all this and these little spring loaders here. Sink. Slap. Boy. The screen in the back here. I'll get in the back of this one in a second. I think this one's locked, so I can't get in this one. This is nice. It's very premium. Just look at the finish on this. 86% charge, 234 miles of range. It's obviously not going to be the most efficient car in the world, but they're making up for it with a huge battery pack. Those wheels, love them. Let's get you close up in here. Apparently, they're really good at finding that stuff. Man. So much want going on here, it's unreal. Yeah. Right. Hello. How you doing? Doing well, how are you? Very good. This is impressive. I want it so bad. No. Oh, you gotta get up there. Shall I try it? Oh. Shall I get up there? 100%. Excellent. I'll tell you what, can you hold that for a second? Sure, where do you want me to face it? No, I'll face it towards me roughly and unless my trousers fall down. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Alright. This is great. So this extends out if you want uneven terrain, this can go longer. On the roof. Okay, good point. So you can go there as well. Yeah, you can go there. Wow. Two tents. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay, let's take that camera. Yeah. I'll show you in here. So, I'm six foot tall. Let's have a lay down yeah, on the back of a Rivian. Oh, yeah. Very comfortable. I'll tell you what. Camping in the back of a Rivian. Very, very good. Again, just the little details. Just the way that's finished, you know? My degree was in product design. And so, maybe it's just me, but I'm just appreciating they really thought about everything and the finish to it and the quality of it. So it really does stand out. I imagine sitting here overlooking sort of big valley, mountain, snow, the sea. Yeah, phenomenal. Do you know what? I thought I'd be impressed. I thought I'd be impressed, but it's blown me away. I have seen one before at the uh, uh, fully charged event in Texas. I saw a ribbon before and I was impressed with it then, but I couldn't get really up close to it then. And now you can, you can appreciate the finishing and the details of it way more. What's this interior called? Ocean Coast. Ocean Coast. Ocean Coast. Bag hooks. Again, the detail, the finish. Ports in the uh, headrest as well. Yep, USB C. This. Yes. Control the climate from the back. Oh, I like these mats. Yeah, they <laughs> cool. Which mats, and then uh, the center console folds down so you can have access to the gear tunnel. So you can get straight to the gear tunnel through there. Right. So you can Amazing. Put the cooler back there. Amazing. Cold beers, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Water. Sorry, yeah, Carl Waters. <laughs> waters. Sorry. Water. <laughs> you know, my daughter watches so much YouTube, she says water. water. <laughs> Not water. Uh, water. <laughs> Whereas we should say water in England. Water. <laughs> That's where you place the water. Put your water in there. Water. water. That's amazing. It's so impressive. So impressive. Even like this one's got the wood trim here and it carries on in here. Wow. So guys, I hope that's been a useful preview of the Rivian. It is coming to the UK. Don't know when, but it is coming. And you can bet I've got my deposit down. As soon as I can get a deposit down, I'll be putting the deposit down. Take my money, have it, I want it. It's cool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you like our content and want to see more, don't forget to not only subscribe, but also hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any new videos as they're uploaded. Plus, we're also on Instagram, just look up R Simons or RSEV. Us, we're on Facebook 
and Twitter. So lots of news stories and things as we go on each one of those channels.